Hello and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Today we are looking at the role of Procter & Gamble's brand of super absorbent tampons Rely, released in 1975 and removed from the market by 1980 or in 1980 and the link to toxic shock syndrome. TSS was named as a condition in 1978 and further defined in, in 1980. But while TSS has been linked with men and children, an overwhelming a number of cases during this time were linked with women using tampons, specifically Rely. The toxin 1 Staph aureus, aureus is not new. In fact, it was named in 1884. Symptoms include fever, rashes, blood pressure drops, gastrointestinal issues, muscular, muscular <laughs> pain, liver dysfunction and blood, blood abnormalities. While this sharp spike in TSS cases became noticeably connected with Rely tampons, it was not the only culprit even at the time and it is it has been taken off of the market and this is also the reason why TSS can still happen. So Rely was not the only culprit and it became connected to a higher absorbency, essentially high absorbency tampons. Rely was made in response to the request for tampons to be more absorbent and to be able to change less. Rely was made with, I'm probably going to say this word horribly wrong, carboxmethylase and compressed beads of polyester to absorb approximately 20 times its own weight in fluid. This was different to other tampons from the era, which were made with cotton and rayon. Procter and Gamble were estimated to give away approximately 45 million sample packs of four tampons, which equates to roughly 180 million of individual tampons to uh, women um, across the United States as part of the marketing campaign, leading to approximately 26.3 million women using said samples. As stated, the most significant shift uh, is that Procter & Gamble made was to said synthetic material and this was actually their undoing. These synthetic compounds, foam cubes along with gelling agents and polyester pouches essentially acted as an agent for bacterial growth, encouraging the bacteria uh, like those causing TSS to grow. Rely's design, innovative at the time, not only could absorb approximately 20 times its own weight, but blossom into the shape of a cup. To hold further menstrual fluid without leakage. Due to these possibilities, the Rely tampon changed the pH balance of the vaginal canal to about 7.4, which is pretty much well at neutral, 7 is neutral significantly higher than that of the normal acidic balance of 4.2, which keeps um, S. aurelius calmly at bay. So basically, we like our, our vaginal canal to be at an acidic level of 4.2 because it keeps this type of bacteria, you know, not prolific. The end result of all of this was that Rely ended up shouldering the majority of the blame for the late 70s TSS outbreak. The CDC linked higher absorbency tampons to contributing to the TSS, TSS outbreak, not just rely. However, by 22nd of September 1980, Procter & Gamble were called these tampons and the FDA ruling required pamphlet information regarding TSS to be provided in each and every packet. Various trials came against Procter & Gamble for injuries and deaths caused by rely and TSS some of which were successful. However, what these court cases, um, what came out of these court cases was that Procter & Gamble had in fact performed their due diligence in a lot of the cases, specifically in their testing. However, Mr. Related Research into Bacterial Interactions, 
um, were not missed as in they didn't account for related research into bacterial interactions in the way that the vaginal canal reacted to high absorbency tampons. And by 1979, when the FDA required stricter protocols and increased data collection, uh, Procter & Gamble were, their testing was essentially grandfathered into this scheme, but also by the time this stricter protocol and increased data collection came in by the FDA, they were actually providing and exceeding these required reporting protocols. Scientific testing on lab rats. Um, yes, tampons are not vegan friendly and any company that sells alleged vegan tampons now or in the current environment is using animal tested technology. Past. So basically, these, the testing that Procter & Gamble did, uh, they rely tampons are past. The greatest challenge was the microflora um, of the vagina, distinct in individual women and ever-changing based on age, diet and lifestyle habits. Women's bodies are unable to conform to laboratory testing, essentially, and they could not provide definitive results in this regard. However, the damage was done. Tampons and TSS are now inexorably linked. A reminder that your menstrual cycle could murder. Um, these uh, pamphlets in every packet are permanent reminder that sometimes a perfect storm can result in death. Thanks for watching. Uh, these um, articles will be listed below as per usual. Enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where you are in the day. And I, of course, will see all of you in the next video. Bye, everyone.